In 2022, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety updated their landmark moderate overlap crash test to include a crash test dummy in the rear seat. The original test, introduced in the 90s, only included a driver seat dummy. Since the introduction of this test, safety for front seat occupants has improved by leaps and bounds. This isn't an exaggeration, just look at how much the Ford Explorer improved between generations. The challenging thing is that safety for rear seat passengers hasn't kept pace. In 2022, the IIHS assessed that, in vehicles from model year 2007 onward, the risk of a fatal injury is 46% higher for belted occupants in the rear seat than in the front. This lagging safety prompted the organization to start assessing rear seat protection in the moderate overlap test. Will this updated crash test drive improvements like its predecessor? Can automakers meet the challenge? Fortunately, we don't need to speculate any longer. Let's examine recent improved crash tests to see how automakers are responding. Let's start with one of the top selling vehicles in America, Toyota's iconic Camry sedan. The previous generation Camry had disappointing results, but Toyota took these seriously and made significant improvements in the 2025 redesign. The previous generation had a serious issue with the rear seat dummy submarining under the lap belt. The new Camry solves this issue, with the lap belt remaining firmly on the dummy's pelvis. The older model also had a moderate risk of rear seat chest injuries. The new model fixes this, reducing the chest injury index from 37 to 25. Overall, the Camry's rating in this test has improved from marginal to good. The Honda Pilot was redesigned for the 2023 model year. Out of the gate, it had frustratingly subpar performance for a new model. For 2025, Honda has made some modest improvements. The original model allowed the rear seat dummy's head to get too close to the front seat back, increasing the risk for injuries. The updated model keeps the head at a safer distance from the seat. Honda successfully reduced the risk of head injuries in the updated Pilot. However, the issue of lap belt submarining remains unresolved in both models. Ultimately, the pilot's rating improved from marginal to acceptable. Hopefully, Honda fixes the lap belt submarining problem before the pilot's next redesign several years from now. The Mazda CX-5 is the oldest vehicle featured in today's video, with the current generation introduced for 2017. This version of the CX-5 performed terribly, earning the lowest rating of poor. Mazda wouldn't let that stand, so beginning with the 2023 CX-5, the company rolled out substantial improvements that includes the addition of rear seatbelt pretensioners and load limiters. These enhancements elevated the rating from poor to the highest score of good, a remarkable achievement given that it was accomplished without a full redesign. The biggest thing Mazda fixed with the update is reducing the high injury forces seen in the original model. Look how much the head injury forces were reduced. Additionally, the new CX-5 resolves the previous issues with the lap and shoulder belts not staying in their optimal positions. The effort that Mazda put into fixing such an old design is laudable. Like many of the other vehicles we've seen, the original Genesis GV70 struggled with the dummy submarining under the lap belt. The dummy in this vehicle also recorded a moderate risk of injuries to the neck. Genesis was able to address both of these problems with the updated GV70. For 2025 models produced after April 2024, Genesis made changes to the rear seat design and seat belts. These changes resulted in smooth and controlled dummy movement, reducing the risk of injuries to all body areas. The previous generation, Subaru Crosstrek had terrible performance in this test, receiving the lowest rating of poor. It encountered almost every possible issue including a submarining dummy, the dummy's head approaching the front seat back, and a moderate risk of head and neck injuries, along with an extremely high risk of chest injuries. Look how high these chest injury readings are. Subaru redesigned the Crosstrek for 2024. For models built after February 2024, Subaru made modest improvements, raising the rating by one level to a marginal. While the dummy still experiences submarining under the lap belt, injury levels, including chest readings, have significantly decreased. 
the head injury criterion also saw a considerable improvement. Although it's disappointing that Subaru couldn't achieve more substantial advancements, it's encouraging to see safety moving in the right direction. Overall, these crash tests are beginning to paint a promising picture. If this trend continues and more automakers enhance rear seat safety, the test will successfully achieve its objective. It will also join its predecessor, the original moderate overlap crash test, as a defining moment in the history of automotive safety. Do you have a safety topic that you would like to see covered? Comment below, and you may see the subject appear in a future video. If you found this interesting, be sure to check out this video examining why the Mazda's CX-90 is the safest vehicle in its class. Thanks for watching.